Hi, this is Missy. Welcome to Curling World. And hi, here's me, Stan. And we're going to do a book review slash shot glasses today. So, we have four shot glasses in front of you. And we have a stack of books right here. So, what I'm going to do is the shot glasses first, and then we'll do the books second. Alright, so... Just going to scoop this out of the way. Don't mind that little corner right there. So, we have... These lovely guys, and they're all it's from Spencer's at our local mall. As and, per usual. Yep. And these ones are really this one's really cool because this has got a straw on it. And it goes all the way up if you want to drink your shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> and then at the end here, we also have another one that has a straw, and it goes all the way up. It has uh, the little blockers at the end, which you can probably yep. see. Yep. And then we got this guy at Spencer's. And not quite sure what it says. I'm not reading that. <laughs> okay. We're not reading that. Okay. So there's that one. And then there's this one. And this one says... When life gives you lemons, do a shot. And the end one is biohazard. And the other end one is get lit. <laughs> Sorry. So there's those it just guys. It sounds so stupid when you say it. Like, no what? offense. It just does. You say get lit. It just sounds funny when you <laughs> say it. Because it's like, I know you would never say that. No. So there's those guys. I'm just getting them out of camera view here. And then I'm not sure if we've shown this book yet or not. The Grayscale, um, Adorable Animal Grayscale Coloring Book um, by Jane Mende. So I'm not sure. So I've been working in it. Um, so in the back, I'm going to show you here, which I have cut out makes life a little easier it just gives you a bunch of ideas for the pictures so I've been working on this one for a little bit and um, so I just cut out the pictures and there is pictures on the back and there is an X on there because I have done that one already so it's just different different pictures so that's just a blank one but yeah there's just those and then this book I do have a, oh there's the front cover so in this book I do have a little fella here that I haven't been started haven't finished him yet oh I didn't even know you started that one mm -hmm. yep so this guy goes with this guy and then we have the belong page and I don't know if I'm going to color the belong page um, I might give it a shot it is a little bit more darker so um, I might give it a, a try and then the next few pages they give you instructions Introduction of the book. Um, instructions, and I'm sorry about the table. They're probably used to it. <laughs> so sorry, they, it's like every video where they go, dang, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> punching the table? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, they give you tips and ideas of what to do with the, um, what works and what doesn't work on Grayscale. Um, I did a little practice on the bunny here. Cause he has gray scale, so I give him a little, give him a little color. Just half his body. Just gave it a try, and it's like, oh, this is pretty easy. And um, I ended up. There's more tips. And I think what works best in this book is um, color pencils. Works wonderful in this book. And I use this tip very, very often in the grayscale books. 
um, the yellow on, do the yellow first and then do the red or green. It makes it pop. Oh, so, I know about the... About the what? The whiting? <laughs> the, the what? <laughs> He's got me confused. Oh, gel pens. Yeah, gel pens work also in here too. Oh, I, I was trying to get you to say it and not me say it. Also, the part about the white gel pens. Oh, the white, yes, yeah. the white gel pen. Okay, <laughs> there we go. I wanted you to say it. I didn't want to say it. That's okay. I don't That's know okay. what it does. <laughs> yeah, and it does beautiful work with a white gel pen. Wait, I just said deja vu. Have we done this before? Um, I don't know. I think we did. <laughs> well, if we did, we're doing it again. Yeah, That's okay. It is what it is. I don't really care. I feel like half <laughs> the people don't watch the videos anyways, so it's brand new content for them. Yep. So we've got the pictures are just grayscale, and you have to add the color to them to make them pop. So I've done quite a bit in here. Um, I think it was, yeah, because I think we showed in this last month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, we got our months mixed up. It's all right. I mean, I thought yesterday was Sunday. I thought so, today was Tuesday. I can see that. I can feel that, man. I yep. can feel that. Yep, I thought today was Tuesday. These socks don't fit. My feet are too small. So we just got some grayscale pictures, and they're really cute pictures. They're adorable. And they're single-sided. And I am a little intimidated on the frog here. Just a little bit, because I don't want to screw them up, and I probably will make a copy of them first and then try them, and then if I screw up on that, that's okay. So I have the original copy. We'll flip through a couple more pages, and then um, we'll get to some new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Because yeah. at first I was like, we've done this. And I was like, wait, yep. we have it. And then we decided to do it anyway. And then I was like, yep. wait, wait. Because I had deja vu when we were talking about the pen. <laughs> yep. I was like, wait, no, this isn't deja vu. This is a memory. And I was like, we already yep. did it. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> I believe we did it in the mall hall. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. We didn't have a mall hall for this month, correct? No, we did not. That's because I'm poor and I didn't buy anything and you didn't no. really buy a lot. No. So. And then I'm just going to slide my little friend back in here so he doesn't get damaged. Yeah, and then I can set this over my mind if you want me to. Yep. Okay, so I do have another one of these, but I completed it. <laughs> I completed it this month. Um, I could not wait. And it's the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar. And um, so now we have um, my very own... Uh, my own very own oh my gosh my own very lonely firefly Five coloring book by Eric Carl and blank write your name here yep my goodness Oops, that I was think a tongue I just twister the table again. I'm sorry. that was a tongue twister so it's basically a story and it is for children but I believe adults can call it these two yeah so, especially uh, somebody at uh, my level <laughs> yep <laughs> if you're starting out Go to your local Target. They have them. Um, Do they have Targets in most states? Yes. I believe so. I don't know. Or is it like one of those things like Dairy Queens where they're like just kind of random? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm going to look that up. I think they're in most places. Because I know they have them over by like... I hope I'm not wrong here, but I watched somebody on YouTube and they're talking about Target, and I think they live like over by like California or something. Yeah. So at least they have them there. Did they have yep. Target in Florida when you were there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So they should be in most places. Yep. Sorry, we're 
small town folk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm from a smaller town than you are. Well, I'm from really small town. Me too. I, our neighbors are like five miles away. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so did mine. So did mine. Mine were about ten miles away. It's so yep. weird living like far away from neighbors and stuff. Because it's yep. just like, you don't even know who lives where. It's like, yep. who are you? I've never seen you before. Yep. I've been your neighbor for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> So, That's what it felt like as a kid anyways. I don't know. I haven't yeah. been in years. Yeah. So you have the story or the um, illustration of the author here. And then you have the cover page of the book here. And you can color that in, put your name here. And then it gets into the story of the firefly. I'm just going to squish it down there. There we go. And you can color the firefly and the sun. And what would be really great, too, is if you have children or no, if you even have pets, you can color these for your pets or your children, and you can read them the story. I would do a story time with my pets, man. That's so yeah. underrated. I would definitely do that. That would be fun. Did I so, kick the table? No. Nope. So these are for children, um, but adults also can color them. They're a lot of fun. Um, at the end of this month, or March, between sometime in March, we're going to do a review of the coloring pages that I completed. And there is a surprise in there, so I'm not going to give it away. <laughs> so you can just complete, if you want to complete this, do a little bit and your child does it too. That works too. So it just goes through the story as you color. And. It's quite literally just the book, but without the color. Yep. Yep. Because I feel like usually when you find things like that, they don't actually have the book. Like it's just random pages from inside the actual book. Yep. You know, they don't actually have the story and everything. Yep. So this is really cute, and the thing that I struggle with the most doing doing um, stuff in books, that's why I take them out of the book, um, is the little crease right here is a little bit of a challenge, because you're trying to cram your little pencil in there, your marker, and then your marker like bounces backwards and it tries to scribble something else, or <laughs> you go too forward, or yeah, it. That's what I struggle with a little bit. So I take mine out. But with these, with this book, I'm not going to take the pages out. I'm going to keep it as a book. Um, so it's just going to be a little bit of a struggle, but not, not nothing I can handle. And it's just, it's absolutely just beautiful. The illustration, the drawings are just absolutely stunning. And it's just... Beautiful. And, and that, then I'm just. That one wasn't too expensive, was it? It was five ninety nine. Yeah, that's like as much as the regular book. <laughs> yep. And then at the end of the book is really cool. You get a picture of the author. Um, of Eric, Carl. You said Carly. No. Carl. Oh shit! Wait. What was it? <laughs> Carl. Carl. I okay. just think it's Carl. Okay. Just an extra letter. And then you can take your picture of yourself and you can put it in here and then you write a little bit about yourself here. And then you put your name or finish book on um, the year, date, year, and how old you are. So I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Alright, we're going to go to the dollar store next. And I got three of them here. I have four, but I don't know what happened to it. It disappeared. So, we'll just do three here. So, we have the henna tattoo, or henna, not tattoo, sorry. Henna uh, designed to color, designs to color. 
And these were, the three books that I got were only a dollar. So if I screw up on them, I'm not going to be sad about it or I'm not going to be too worried about it. Um, so then you've got the front cover and they don't have an author. And these are double sided and you can use marker on these. It's going to bleed through because the paper is really poor quality. So it is really, really thin. Um, gel pens, I tried to do gel pens in one of these and it tore the page. Yes. So, <laughs> so that's an important thing to remember too. So with gel pens, yeah. they are technically like wet. Like it is like a semi liquid. Yeah. So like, you know, be careful with that with thinner uh, pages and stuff. Yeah. Um, you are coloring with liquid. Yep. You know, and depending on the brand, some are uh, stickier and won't seep into the page and others will. Yep. So uh, usually um, like the higher quality of the brand, like mm -hmm. the more expensive it is, sadly, um, they will bleed less. Yeah. And be more of that sticky uh, consistency. Yeah. But um, like the cheaper ones will be just colored water almost and really just bleed through the page. Yep found that out the hard way um <laughs> yep yeah so colored pencils probably in the dollar store ones would be a best bet to use in these type of books um because they don't bleed through you can uh, multi-colors um fine lines you can do um you can add a little more detail to them so but if you would like to try gel pen on these, you're absolutely welcome to. Um, and markers, you're absolutely, you could use those. You're just gonna lose your back page. If you wanna keep the book together, you're gonna lose the back page. And these are just henna designs. I didn't, I meant henna tattoos. <laughs> They're not henna tattoos. <laughs> They're um, just designs. So these are just really, really cute, really detailed, really, really detailed, and just, just gorgeous. And you don't have to color the whole page, you can color the center, flower, maybe a little bit over here, and maybe over here a little bit, and then call it good if you want. Come back to it later, that's cool too. And I have not worked in this book yet. But I plan to very, very soon. And since these books are so small, I might just go through it at kind of the speed that I am doing. Because um, they are tiny. They're not tiny, but they're just... There's not much to them. So... These are just beautiful. I love them. Just gorgeous. Yep, just beautiful. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with color wise on these pages yet. But um, it'll come to me. Yeah, just beautiful. And there is that book. And then we've got creative coloring designs to color. And this book is really fun. I've, I've colored a couple in here so far and it's a lot of fun. Because you don't get the same thing as some of other coloring books, you, I mean, not the same thing, but the same designs and stuff. You get different stuff in here, so it's like a kind of a treat to get in the book. And there is no author for this book, and then it's double-sided. So you've got dessert on one side and mushrooms on the other. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little bit of variety. 
and you got treats on this side and then you got space on this side so I mean it's really different and then you've got um, trees I believe those are trees yes and you got a large snail so there's something in here for everyone to color in these books so I didn't know what this was at first so I just call it a bug <laughs> <laughs> and then we got some houses and then I can't wait to do this one this one's gonna be really fun this one, um, I'm not hesitant to do it. I just don't know what I'd do with it because it's just a face it's just a in water. <laughs> so with a bunch of stuff over its head. But I'll figure it out. You got more trees. Leavery. Then you've got cactuses. And a picnic baskets. That could rhyme. <laughs> and then you've got a turtle. This turtle fella here is on the front of the page. So if you wanted to do this design here on the turtle, you certainly can. Or just do your own thing. And there is a page missing out here because I've already done a couple in here so far. And then... We've got furniture, more furniture. Would you imagine coloring all those books? My goodness, I just call them a solid color and call it good. But if you would like to color each individually, that's up to you. You got a carousel horse. You got some guitars. And some chairs. <laughs> and you got some shoes. A bunch of fruit. This would be really fun with different colors instead of the original colors of the fruit. Oh, that would be pretty. Do you want one? No, thank you. And then you got a lovely house. And then, I almost just kicked my laptop on accident. This is, <laughs> I want to say, Scared Heart? Art? Scared Heart? <laughs> art? Sacred Art. Sacred Art. Biblical designs to move your hand. Inspire. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> and you've got the front cover. I think she just likes the angels, honestly. Me? Does he only have a color like the like the like plain looking angels or whatever? I do, but there are some crosses in here that I absolutely love with the flowers and stuff on them. Hmm. So I'm gonna do those. That's cool. And I'm gonna try Adam and did Eve they, here. Do they work in gel pen? No, because the No pages the pages are too thin, yeah. Yep. Yep, but this cross is just beautiful. I love it. Different colors on it. It's just going to be gorgeous. And then you can just leave the background white if you like. Or color it in if you like. And I haven't colored in this one yet. This is a really pretty picture. Do you like some antique wood color on there? Oh, that would be beautiful. Let's see, what else do we have? And some of them do have sayings in them. Um, I can't read upside down, so <laughs> you can see them. But this cross here I'd love to do because it's got the lilies on there and it's just gorgeous. And it's just beautiful. I was thinking of painting, um, making into this a woman and painting her nails. I think would be really pretty. It's 
stained glass is just gorgeous. A lot of work, but gorgeous. There's some more with sayings on them. And I think what I'm going to do is just do a solid color on the bird instead of trying to figure out every little line because there's just a bunch of squigglies and circles and just do a solid color. I think it would be just gorgeous. This one's really pretty. This one's kind of random because there's just seagulls. And that's what you'll get at the Dollar Tree or Dollar Stores or Dollar Trees that you have at your local Dollar Trees. Um, you'll get some random thing in there and you'll get biblical and then you'll just get a random picture of seagulls. <laughs> so, it's just kind of random. You never know what you're going to get in the Dollar Tree ones. This one's really pretty too. Part of the church. This is just beautiful. There's some more fruit. It's got a banana, watermelon, grapes, all kinds of goodies in there. Stained glass. And then this one's got a saying on it. And this one's part of a church. This one's beautiful too. I like this one a lot. There's a sunrise behind it. Just gorgeous. There's not much to do on this one. There is, um, I wouldn't say very little, but there isn't much to do on this one. So, um, just kind of use your imagination, use your colors. And then we've got the lion. And then this book is a lot of fun too because it opens this way, but the pages don't do your traditional flip through. It's got to go this way. So I'm going to kind of lean these guys towards me and then I'll show you what they look like. So I don't believe there is an author. I don't see an author on these. But these animals are hidden in the jungle. And they're very, some of them are very easy to spot, and some of them, as it goes on, it gets a little bit harder. But for a while there in the book, um, I've done a, I've peeked at it. Um, for a little bit, there's, they're pretty easy to find. Like this fella is a bird. That fella's an elephant. Just gorgeous. But I think what they're supposed to do is blend into the fort, into the jungle. Um, if you don't know what these are, these are lizards. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 I just want to go and call it Sunday. You were like, if you don't know what these are, these are lizards. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> that did not mean to sound rude. I was just. Uh, I know that's why it's funny. <laughs> she does the same thing to me. Don't worry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm tired. You tired? Yeah. I slept so much that now I'm just tired. Now, see, this one. You may not know what this one looks like, but if you look closely, they're butterflies, which are just gorgeous. Beautiful bird. Lovely zebra. 
I love the designs they have on these animals. They're just, it's just gorgeous. There's my favorite animal, the bat. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely designs. And this book wasn't, um, wasn't that much, actually. It was around, oh, $12.99, around there. So 13 bucks. So not bad. This one's a little bit of a challenge. I had to take a double look at this one, and it's ants, which is weird because they're blended really good in there. We'll flip through a couple more pages, and then uh, we'll go to the next book. And there is one book that I did rip apart. <laughs> And we'll do that one next, and then um, you'll see. Um, I wanted a picture out of there, and I couldn't get it out, so I had to rip the book in half to get the page out without ripping the whole design. So, yeah. We'll just do one more here, and then we'll... These are birds. Just chilling. But this is a really fun book. I have not colored in this one yet. Oh, that's heavy. Yep. So this is the lovely book that I have ripped into. <laughs> so it is the Harmony of Coloring series. And they just came out with this series in this year. So, um, which is really exciting. I'm getting a new, um, artist artist yeah and so I don't know the artist on here it doesn't have one on here does it have one on the back it does not so um this one's just beautiful the front cover and then I do have to do it this way because I did rip it in half <laughs> so but these these are really detailed you could use markers color pencils watercolor pencils uh gel pens um crayons if you like um and it's really cool because some of them have all of them have sayings on them on the back of them and this one's adorable And I like this one. Yeah, these are just gorgeous. I don't know what's going on here with the black, with his feet, the tail, the face, the ears. I'm not sure what that's going on. <laughs> not quite too sure on that one, but that's okay. There's still plenty to color. There's a side view here. Oh, book. Just gorgeous. There's a pug. A big, big pug. Ooh. Sorry, I'm grabbing the book because it's <laughs> in two pieces here. This one's just beautiful. I love the background on it. And you can color in the moon, the wolf, the leavery here, the grass. There's a Yorkie. I believe that's a Yorkie. Not too sure what this piece is here. Unless that's a piece of hair. Could be. This fellow would be gorgeous with uh, 
any color eyes. He's got those bold eyes and he's just staring right at you. And then you got these beautiful dog. And these are single sided. So you could use markers, of course. Gel pens, watercolor pencils, crayons, uh, color pencils. If you are going to use marker, what I would do is I would just put a sheet of paper behind your project before you start and then um, so you don't ruin the other page behind it. Oof, that one's a busy one. <laughs> Cute, but busy. Yeah, I think this one is just adorable. And this one's just saying hello. <laughs> That's what it's doing. Okay, so let me hand that book off. <laughs> My two pieces of book there. And we have another The Harmony of Coloring series Springtime Delights. Relax and, and unwind with. And adult coloring and I did not rip this one in half yet <laughs> I didn't get frustrated with it so I'm just ripping it in half so this one's in one piece and this one's the same kind of the same thing um, not the same not the same thing but um, kind of the same pages single-sided um, with a saying on the back of it and the paper quality is really, really good on this book. I've only been using color pencils in it, and um, I think color pencils work great. But you can use any medium you would like. And I bumped the table again. <laughs> And it's just just gorgeous. Just beautiful. And I haven't colored in this one yet. So I'm really excited to color in it. But again, you can just use markers, color pencils, um, watercolor pencils, markers, crayons if you like. <clears throat> it's just beautiful. And then they got some trees in here. They had birds and lots of birds. And they have some trees in here. I think they only have three trees in here. Three or four. So. <laughs> but this one's really pretty too. I like this one. This one kind of looks grayscale-ish. So let's see, how are we doing? Okay, we can do a couple more here. This one's pretty, this one's really busy though. Ooh. Busy, busy, busy. Ooh, that one's busy too. <laughs> but it's gorgeous.
Yeah, it's just gorgeous. And then we have the lovely Mary Engelbert. Bert? <laughs> I'm not butchering the name. I'm sorry. I already did. Yep, I already did that. Yep. And it's a greeting card book. You get 24 cards, 24 envelopes, plus stickers. Ooh, everybody plus loves stickers. stickers. Everybody loves stickers. And as you can tell, I have been working in this book. But here are the stickers. And I believe you get two of every one. Yep. Yep, two of every single one. And then I'm going to start on the back of the book here because I'm just going to show you a couple of just the envelopes. They're just blank. And you can color the creatures on the envelopes. I'm reveling my words. Sorry. And so, yep, so you get 24 of those. And then you get 24 cards. And with the envelopes, they show you, she shows you how to fold the envelope. And what I've learned to do is seal the envelope with tape on the bottom side first, and then use the sticker to seal the envelope shut so that you don't, it doesn't unfold. Because it has unfolded on me before. So that's what works. And then you get these lovely pictures. And if you don't want these as cards, you just want these pictures, you can just cut right down the line and save the picture. You can do that too. Um, and then they also have on the back of the card colored for you by, and then you put your name down here. And they're just really, really cute. Like a big gigant, gigantic slushy. <laughs> well, what is that one? Um, it's Freezy Slushy. It's, this is a um, oh. greeting cards. Oh, what about the states? <gasps> we forgot the states. Oh, my God. And where is it? It is in my room you in a pile. You can grab it. I can entertain for a moment. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab. I forgot the states. Oh my god. So, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never here. Well, I am here. You guys just don't see me most of the time. There is a couch right here. That's the edge of it, just out of view. Uh, it's not a couch, couch. It is a love seat. I don't know why they're called that. And then we have a giant. Is it an ottoman? And I usually sit on one of those two things. Well, uh, Missy sits here, so I'm usually just over here hanging out. I know this is my channel. I'm just lazy. It's fine. She enjoys it. I enjoy it. It's fine. Um, it, the weather started warming up where we are. <laughs> uh... We got in the 40s yesterday, the day before. Did we get in the 40s today? Yes. Yeah, so it's been warm. Anyways, here's Missy again with, uh, or uh, what is the thing to say? Now back to the regularly scheduled program. Or <laughs> 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 Whew, my heart is pumping. Okay. Why? Because you thought I was going to say something stupid? <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to still work on this one first. Then I have a little surprise over here. So, all right. So these you can color, or if you just want to cut them out and not do the card part, you can do that too. 
But these are just absolutely gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Like a little piggy is swimming with the fishies. How adorable is that? It's not as cold down here. No. No. So, it was like, was it, I swear, it must have been in the 60s down here. Yeah. Yeah. And it was terrible. It's upstairs, it's like in the, it's warm. <laughs> yep. Yep, it is warm. And I'm a freeze baby, and it was really cold down here, so... I didn't hang out with Missy a whole lot because it was cold and also I was just tired. <laughs> yeah. And also when it's cold, I fall asleep unintentionally. So, I don't want to face plant into the colored pencils. <laughs> <laughs> and then just the envelopes. Alright, so this book... I just got, and I am so proud of it. It is America State by State. They're placemats. And so when I color, when I'm finished coloring these, I want to get these laminated so that I can reuse the placemat instead of just putting it on the table and then having to throw it away with all that hard work. So... That's just one idea I want to do. Um, so I don't believe it has an author. It does not. Yes, it does. Holly Graham. So, um, so it's got this little bumpy edge all the way around it. And I have not colored in this one yet. And this book is really cool because it gives you fun facts about the state. So we have Delaware. And then we have the fun fact. Fun facts. We've got Pennsylvania. So does it not go alphabetically? It does not. Does it go by what year? Um, no. I don't believe it does. <clears throat> no, it doesn't. That's stupid. <laughs> I explained to them that I've been sitting on the couch throughout all of the videos. Oh, wow. That's why they didn't see me. Oh, wow. We have the Peach State, Georgia. And then we've got fun facts about Georgia. We have Connecticut. It just be so fun to laminate these. Oh my word. And then you have them forever. <laughs> Just be like, yes, I colored that. And then... Back in 2021. Wait, 2000... Yeah. What? No. Wait, 20, wait, how do you say it? 2021. That is what it is? Yep. Why does it sound so stupid? <laughs> in 2021. I colored that way back in 2021. Yep. Can you believe that? I'm like, yep. wow, Grandma. Or something. Yeah. And this would be a really fun book for kids also to color, I think. And it'd just be fun to show them the fun facts and it'd just be a, it would be a joy. And then you can send them home with some placemats. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got 50 of them. South Carolina. <laughs> yeah, and then if you've got 50 grandchildren, then they each get one. That'd be crazy. Yeah. 
New Hampshire. Virginia. <clears throat> and you can color these any way you would like to color them. They don't have to be the exact match to the state. If you want to color a hot dog pink, color the hot dog pink. If you want to color the guy, I don't know, blue, go ahead and color him blue. They don't have to be exact. But if you would like them to be exact, that's up to you too. North Carolina. Rhode Island. Isn't that by New York? What? Rhode Island. You think I know the states? <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. I don't pay attention to school. I don't know. Vermont? I don't even know half of these states. Or like, if people use the abbreviations of the states, like the two yep. first thing, I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yep. Like somebody said O-H the other day, and I thought they were saying O. Oh, they were talking about a state. I don't even remember. Yep. What state is that? Tennessee. O-H? What? Wait. Tennessee. <laughs> no. O-H. That is not Tennessee. No. What? What's happening? Wait, are we talking Tennessee is T-N. Yeah. That's Tennessee. not what I was talking about. I was talking about O-H. O-H? Yeah. O-H is Ohio. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Yep. Oh. <laughs> And there's Ohio. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> me and B me and Missy, oh my gosh, me and Missy are gonna have some oh, some brawling to do after this. Holy crap! Yep. <laughs> Louisiana. It's like every time I talk to you, I'm, I'm just like, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> you made Indiana. Me confuse myself. Mississippi Illinois This one would be a really a tricky one to color because you got the Chicago style hot dog with yeah, all the fixing. <laughs> With all the fixings, and it's, yeah, man. That's going to be a little bit of a challenge to color that in. But we'll figure it out. Alabama. Maine. Missouri. Arkansas, Michigan, Florida, I've been there, Texas, Ohio, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there too. <laughs> Oregon, Kansas. Isn't that where Dorothy lives? So. Yep. West Virginia. 
Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, sorry for the dog barking. We've got a lot more videos. Do you remember the Florida video? Yes. Isn't that when like everybody and like their cousins were up there talking? Yep. Well, they Montana. That noise, but you know, Idaho. Isn't that where the potato comes from? I think. Maybe. Where Mr. Spuds comes from. Let's see. I don't know. Wyoming. Utah. It would be so fun to have one that would have all the, like, United Kingdom and Italy and just, oh, that'd be pretty. What? Uh, placemats. That's oh, like they do so for the 50 states. the states do it for countries? Yeah. We have I think so that'd be so cool. Though. Yeah. They, they would do. have to sec put it by the like, section of the world. Yep. New Mexico. Arizona. Alaska. Hawaii. And that's the last one. But this is a really, really cool book. And I cannot wait to get started in it. Yep. So, that's everything. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Outro. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, remember to hit the like button. My hand looked big. <laughs> <laughs> I got little hands, FYI. Yeah. Uh, if you, uh, but if you like the video, even if you want to hit the like button. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But if you do that, tell us why. Also, if you do the thumbs up, tell us why, so we can improve our channel. Or yep. Missy's channel, pretty much. <laughs> yep. Um, I realized when I put my hand on your shoulder that they couldn't see that, so I yep. like just awkwardly <laughs> pat your arm real quick. Um, <laughs> If you have any suggestions, uh, questions, ideas, write, make sure to write a comment. If it's even just a, hey, good job, it's much appreciated, makes our whole day. Um, yeah. I know almost everybody who views the videos is not subscribed, and that is hurtful, and that is bad. So correct your mistake and subscribe, because I know you're watching. The people who are subscribed that haven't watched, which will not be watching this, I am... You're going to give them a warning. Um, <laughs> and I, you should have a good... I hope you have a good day slash night whenever you're watching this. And uh, in two or three days... Yep. Uh, Missy will be making another video. And hopefully it'll be uploaded the day that it is made. Or the morning of the next day. Yep. Before any of you are awake. Yep. Probably. Um... Because I will be. And that will be February's colored okay. pages. Color, completed color pages, yeah. Yep, and yeah. We got a lot this month. And that is everything. Alright. So, have a good February. <laughs> have a good February. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.